Um, so this little thing, by the way, I figured it out. You know who this is, right? Uber. This is an Uber. Yep. No joke. Um, so last week with the Uber CEO, if you guys didn't watch that, we had the CEOs on Uber and Tony Zhu, uh, Dara and, <laughs> and Travis, and we had all the CEOs on. You guys go should check that out. We interviewed the CEOs. So there is somebody killed somebody. Somebody got shot. Look at all those cop cars. Intersection is closed. You know, shit's happening. And this little puppy with little, <laughs> you know, the Subway sandwich inside decided, you know what? F the cops. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go right, right under the tape because when when, the, when LAPD puts tape, by the way, there definitely somebody's dead uh, or a major crime scene. Look at all the cops, all the cop cars, yellow tape. So this guy, oh, yeah. so this 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 little robot. By the way, this is not autonomous people. There are there the are people all over the world driving these. Yeah, they're, they're pilots. They're so called pilots. So I'm pretty sure this pilot was either from India, Philippines, or Mexico. They don't mm -hmm. know the rules of engagement with LAPD in LA. So you don't <laughs> break. I don't give a shit who you are. You don't break police lines for anything, even if it's the burrito is getting cold. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. this thing went right under the yellow tape and then crossed the street and look at those cops looking at it. So I'm I'm look at all the cops <laughs> are looking at it. I'm thinking they're all just going to, you know, take the, you know, the, take you, you the gloves out you, you and absolutely a... blow the fuck out of this. Because you know what? This could have a bomb in it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, who knows? Yeah, you don't know, especially when it comes to this. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm surprised that they're this relaxed when it comes to it. Yeah. Um, because they're just kind of standing there. But, you know, you see that picture on the right right there? That yeah. guy basically above the robot. I think yeah. he's thinking, oh, what, what can I get out of that? He's, he's thinking, I'm going to take something out of there. But, you know, this, this well, well, you know reminds what? me. Do you remember? No, you know that major the, the LAPD. Yeah, but you know that the LAPD has that, that robot that goes around, right? I don't know if they still yeah. do or not. But no, they that, do. They do. That's, that's the one that, that if, you know, they go... To the bad guy with the robot in case they're thinking you know the guy's loaded up with weapons or whatever they go break the windows and the doors and whatever they have the, but that thing is like a tank this thing this thing is garbage oh no no so, i'm, not, I'm talking know, about the street robot that goes in like if you have yeah, a problem yeah. or something and it's like oh i'm yeah, sorry small one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, beat it yeah <laughs> yeah small one yeah they have that small one too yeah but yeah. that's like bomb detection and shit like that so all these cops, there's a detective there, you can see. So there is a murder scene or there's a shootout. Something had serious happened here. But this guy, whoever the pilot for this thing is, he said, well, my food cannot get cold. I got to <laughs> take my food to the freaking person that, that's waiting. <laughs> so hell with the yellow lines. I'm like, you know, this is the problem we're going to have with these things. If this pilot mm -hmm. who does not know the local rules and regulations, which is crime scene person he just drove right through the yellow tape went under it went right through the cops by the way we didn't put the video up because it was kind of too long but he went right through it and then followed way down that curb and then you know probably delivered the shit and i'm going like it was a high school shooting at hollywood high school see driven mom hey driven mom lisa knows it more than i do i was not driving that day but when i saw this i go this is priceless right here uh oh my and God, this, this and LAPD, you know what the first rule of LAPD is, right? Shoot first, uh, shoot ask first, questions ask later. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the same thing with so, NYPD. Yeah, okay. So I was thinking, honestly, this thing will get shot to pieces now. Because you <laughs> know what? It's a dangerous thing. I'm serious. I mean, if a bad yeah. guy wants to blow some shit up, right? Load this thing up with bomb and drive the shit and then blow it up. I'm like, cops were like way too casual for this thing. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean... Okay. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. That to me, that that's pretty crazy. They got to have like something in there that like will repel it or like dismantle it or something. Yeah, I mean, it, it's I, you know, it, it's going to be pretty interesting to see though what actually unfolds from this because this this is like a pretty big story. And well, I, I, what what did what did the LAPD say after this? Like, did they did no, they LAPD did not make any comment? But what happened is that. Um, What's going to happen with all these autonomous vehicles or these pilot-driven, so-called pilot-driven vehicles, um, food delivery robots, or, you know, right here, autonomous vehicles, you know, this is the problem they're going to have. The technology is there, but the regulation, right? When shit like this happens, 
you know, the city council is going to look at this and they're going to give him some fines, you know, whatever it is. But mm. they should not be, you know, I mean, doing this kind of thing. I understand technology is great, but see, that's just one. Imagine if you put like 50 of these on all over, the, you know, the same neighborhood. I mean, there's not going to be room to walk for people with their dogs, man. I'm like, come on, man. Yep. Just because we build it doesn't mean we need it. And trust me, trust me. You know, I've been doing, you know, as you know, uh, food delivery last month or so. Um, people are so used to, right, having hand delivered the shit and put it in front of their door. 80% of them are leave it at the door, take a picture, right? So I'm going mm -hmm. like, so now this robot is not going to hand deliver shit. You have to yeah. get off your ass, off the couch, go all the way to this thing, put your code in. There's a code, by the way. You have to put your yeah. code in so that the, the, the lid pops up and then you take your food. And then you, you put the code in, it closes the lid, and it goes to the next delivery. So there is no more search, of this, search. you know. I'm not going to lie, yeah. but a couple of people need to get up and actually get their food. Absolutely. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a All few people them. need to get up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So there you go. So that was an L.A. story. And I was like, man, this is interesting. I, I was like hoping that the, the real story would have been if LAPD blew that thing up. <laughs> that would have been, yeah, that would have been funny. <laughs> you know, pull oh, the pull the Glocks, pull the Glocks. They that would, that would have been a whole them. different story. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. They just pull the Glocks out and blow the shit out of this thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah baby. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone. <laughs>